do to... It's too much to expect that a council member from a far west suburb could have any realistic comprehension of or concern for the lifestyle and problems of citizens residing in the lowest quadrant of the city, whether they be black or white. Effective With the school board now elected by districts, Chambers again sponsored legislation that would impose district elections on city council members as well. No black had ever been elected to the Omaha City Council. Public hearings were held and the black show of support was overwhelmingly in favor of the proposal. There are some 40,000 plus blacks in the city of Omaha who are not represented on this body. And you, at this point in time, have the opportunity to correct what is a very grave deficiency in city government, and particularly in regards to the representation of blacks in the policy-making and decision-making bodies of this city. There was considerable resistance within the city council to district elections, and testimony before the council fell on deaf ears. City council people have been elected at large for a long time. And city council people had seen the possibilities of uh, district elections being shoved down their throat. So they had actually put the issue on the ballot. They had given it to the Omaha voter in the early 1970s, not once, not twice, but three times. And the Omaha voter, being the white voter with a small black population, consistently voted for the at-large elections. Yet here were Undaunted, Chambers moved ahead with his bill. He declared representation to be a constitutional right and not to be left up to popular referendum. Critics and supporters alike packed committee hearings in an attempt to sway senators. What we want to do today is try to indicate to the legislature that the people of the city of Omaha uh, have indicated they do not want this, and that if, in fact, we are to have to have uh, district elections of councilmen in the city. Let's let the people of the city of Omaha make that decision. We have to have representation by someone on that city council who can put in their two cents for our area. On the floor, district election legislation passed easily through first and second round debate. However, it failed to gain final approval by four votes. It was the last day of the session, and it looked as if time had run out. The city council bill was killed, but then I worked with some people over the noon hour and we resurrected it. So the Omaha, the, the mayor then was Al Vays, he and some of the city council people partying all the way back to Omaha, happy because the bill was, didn't pass. Then they got there and turned on television and found out that the bill had been revived and had been passed and Thone signed it. And they, they were really angry. They thought I was the devil incarnate.